Three stages have gone by and the red jersey remains with Francisco Mancebo Perez. Filipino riders have already won two stages but it hasn't done anything yet to dislodge Perez or at least close the gap. As we enter the penultimate stage of your 2019 LBC Ronda Pilipinas, what else can the rivals do to at least jolt the standings? After three stages, LBC Ronda Pilipinas proves to be too exciting for all cycling fans. Mabuhay Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, Mega Manila and World. I am Snow Badwa. Hi everyone. Today's race will cover a distance of approximately 146.9 kilometers, Roja City to Roja City via Passion Route. Today's race will be for the sprinters. Kumusta mga karonda? I am DJ Bobby Odulio. So what are you waiting for? Here now is the Stage 4 recap of LBC Ronda Pilipinas. Last two hurrahs. If there is one moment where those in contention should start working, it should be here on the fourth stage. And as everyone continues to give Francisco Mancebo Perez a sharp look, the Matrix Power Tag Team of Japan has nothing in mind but to repel every attempt on their individual and team leaderships. With just 69 riders remaining, every participant is optimistic about overhauling the lead and consequently mount a huge comeback. Shortly after the 4km neutral zone, 20 riders shook off the defense of Matrix Power Tug in front. These riders established a quick one-minute lead from the peloton where red jersey donner Francisco Mancebo Perez is just lurking. But with no clear audit of who are in front, Mancebo led a wild chase of the peloton. With an amazing speed of 48 kilometers per hour, amidst the strong headwind, Mancebo and his teammates hold the 59-man peloton until they close the gap of the breakaway. And after just 5 kilometers, the race column became one group anew. This is when other riders from Go for Gold, Philippine Navy, French Wine, and Philippine Army began to destruct the front of the peloton. And this paved the way for seven riders to bolt the group. Newest freemen are Navy's Rudy Roque, RJ Peralta, Kanjun Jo of Correo, Terengganu's Mont Charul Man Amin. PGN Indonesia team's Jamalidin Novardianto and Odi Sechawan and Francia Wines Ryan Tugawin. With no top 10 general classification riders in front, Matrix Power Tag Team just allowed them to drift away. The peloton lagged behind by as high as 3 minutes and 40 seconds, with still 128 kilometers left in the race. Can these seven riders endure the strong wind? and the scorching heat of the sun? Or will they just wither in the end when the stronger peloton decides to make a move in the final kilometers of the race? These and more when your LBC Ronda Pilipinas full recap returns. This is the side at the peloton. Relax, resting, and mostly biding time. Meanwhile, the seven riders in front are forced to work like a carabao and bid to keep their distance from the peloton. But heading into the final 10 kilometers of the race, this is when their distance began to shorten. Francisco Mancebo Perez again led the assault. Like a war general, 
Mancebo Perez rallied his teammates and inspiring other teams to join him. In a scene not usually seen by Filipino cycling fans, Mancebo Perez pulled the peloton to an average of 49 kilometers per hour from a four minute lead. The gap between the breakaway riders and the main bunch was reduced to just 40 seconds. But it seems the peloton miscalculated their attack. The seven riders had ample time to roll to the finish line before the main group can bite their tail. He's now in front. Rudy Rodriguez uh, trying to position himself in front. Closer. Closer, closer. Hurt your parents with that. Rudy Rodriguez. No one. St. Joanne is now behind. All right, Rudy Rodriguez. Rudy Rodriguez first attacking the finish line. Rudy Rodriguez attacking the finish line. And another Filipino. No, it's Novardianto. Novardianto winning the sprint to the finish line. Indonesia's Novardianto winning the sprint to the finish line. The win gave Jamaledin Novardianto and the rest of the Dark Horse PGN Indonesian squad the much needed respect from Filipino cycling fans. Meanwhile, not much changes happened at the overall individual classifications. Mancebo Perez will still keep the red jersey entering the final stage of the race. Mancebo Perez will still keep the red jersey while Ron the Filipinas reigning champion Ronald Oranza needs to at least zoom away by 3 minutes and 52 seconds from his Spanish rival if he wants to retain the crown. The best young rider is still go for goats Ismael Grospe who improves his lead to 4 minutes and 42 seconds over Korean rival Taewoo Kang while teammate Daniel Vencariño is still in third. After the race, the whole LBC Ronda Pilipinas delegation was given a warm reception of seafoods and other famous Capiznon dishes through a boodle fight sponsored by the province's proud son, Mr. Joel P. Longares. After the short festivity, the remaining 69 riders will again be put to a task via the 144km Raw City de Bandan Antique final stage. And like in the past, Ron the Filipinas fans will get to enjoy live pedal by pedal account of the race through our live stream and full recap presentations. LBC Ron the Filipinas is brought to you by LBC. We like to move it. Powered by MVP Sports Foundation, supported by Versa Two Way Radio, Bike Extreme, Boycani, Green Planet, ProLine, Celeste Cycles, Standard Insurance, CCN, One Movement Partners, Joel Pilongaris Foundation, Manila, 3Q Sports Events Management Corporation, Mega World, Festive Walk, Seda Atria, Pueblo de Panay, LBC Foundation. In partnership with the Department of Tourism, Department of Environment and Natural Resources, the City of Iloilo, Province of Iloilo, the Province of Gibaras, Roja City, Province of Capiz, Province of Antique, and the Paradise Island of Boracay in Malay Aklan.